Well, hello. God bless you. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. I pray that you're having a fantastic day. God is good and worthy to be praised, my friends. And this is the day that the Lord has made, and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Now, we're having quite a week here this week at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. We are literally hosting history in the making. The history is, this is the first uh, district meeting for the New Horizon District. The New Horizon District uh, is led by Superintendent William H. Cooper II. It was an honor to appoint him superintendent of this uh, new district that we have. Uh, he was formerly a part of the Greater Triangle District under Superintendent Wilbur Nichols. And before Superintendent Wilbur Nichols, Nichols was the superintendent of the Triangle, Triangle District. Yours truly was the superintendent of Greater Central District. <laughs> but when I became a uh, uh, jurisdictional prelate of NC Third, the Greater Central became Greater Triangle. And then uh, a year or so into that, the uh, New Horizon was birthed and Superintendent Cooper is now the superintendent. And it has been a glorious, glorious week. Uh, just for those Kojic people out there, I'm grateful. Over the last three years, God has blessed us to grow and to add districts to North Carolina, a third jurisdiction. We have the Virginia district. We have the South Carolina district. And we're excited about uh, our new, new, new Horizon district. We're appointing new superintendents. Good things are happening, and I'm excited, and I will We'll be telling you more about it tonight in the district meeting tonight the Thursday nights have been set aside for our district missionary district missionary Margaret Mose she will be ministering the word of the Lord here tonight now my friends I'll tell you I thank the Lord for this woman of God. Uh, she's been with me ever since I've been in Raleigh. As a matter of fact, when I was initially appointed superintendent under the leadership of Bishop Leroy Jackson Willard, he allowed me to appoint uh, Margaret Mose as my district missionary, and we've been together ever since. Well, she will be ministering the word of the Lord here tonight, and we're excited about hearing from the woman of God. And my friends, I want to tell you, I want to tell you that the God of the Bible is up to something. Listen, now when I say up to something, I'm using uh, an anthropomorphic term to describe the moving of God, because the truth is our God is in charge. Nothing catches him off guard. He doesn't have to come up with a plan B or a plan C, but this is my way of communicating to you to let you know that God has not stopped, has not stopped working on your behalf, that no matter where you are, listen, he's on the throne, and I want you to commit as never before to just serving him and allowing him to keep and to bless you, and if you do it, God is going to do great things in your life, and I'm excited because the devil can't stop him because he is the Lord our God. He's the Lord strong and mighty, mighty in battle, so we're going to lift up our heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? He's the Lord strong and mighty. Now, as a, before I close, I want to remind you of something. This past a Tuesday night, I ministered in the meeting, and I preached from 1 Timothy chapter number 6, verse 11 through uh, verse uh, 16. And in uh, these uh, verses, you find Peter, uh, Timothy saying, Paul saying to Timothy, fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art called, and hast professed a good profession." The name of the sermon was Keep Fighting. Paul says to Timothy, fight the good fight of faith. That is, 
fight back. We're in a day now where we are fighting and we, we pointed out that the things that we are fighting against, among many other things, are false doctrines and human greed. Yes, false doctrines and human greed, the, the, the lust for money, power, fame, prestige, human greed. The Bible teaches that the love of money is the root cause of all evil. As, and it talks about how men, when they crave money and power and fame, especially money, how money, among other things, will cause a condition that, that is called forgetfulness of God. My friends, don't you pursue anything uh, to the degree or to the point that it causes you to forget God and to forget the word of God. And he told uh, Timothy, but thou, O man of God, flee these things. We talked about the importance of knowing when to flee and knowing when to fight. There are times when God calls us to stand in there and duke it out with the devil. And there are other times when God says, run. And my friends, when God says, run, run. When God says, fight, fight. Because that's whatever, listen, whatever he calls for, that is what he anoints us to do. So the believer has got to walk in a level of discernment and knowing what heel is, uh, is worth dying on and what things to just pass and to live to fight another day. But I want to say to all believers, I want you to uh, fight the good fight of faith. Paul says to Timothy in verse 14, keep thou this commandment, keep it and keep it uh, without spot unrebukable until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is, keep it without fault. Keep it without failure. Keep it uh, unblameable. Let's live this thing. Let's obey the word of the Lord. Let's be a light for Jesus Christ in these last days. And if we do it, the God of the Bible will fight for us. And you know, when the Lord fights for you, you win every battle. We win every time. And in my closing, I want you to fight to maintain, maintain the eternal, that, that what I call the eternal perspective. Paul says, lay hold on eternal life. Never forget that we're saved to live forever with Jesus Christ, that we're living to live again, that our sojourn here is just a little speck of time, that what we have waiting for us is eternity with Jesus Christ. So my friends, don't let the devil ride you. Don't let him shake you up. Don't let him trouble you too much. The Bible says be careful for nothing, but through all things by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And you pray through it. You rejoice through it. You give it to Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ will take it. And you know what? He knows what to do with it. So I want to invite you tonight for Bible study, but tonight we're in our district meeting. So I'm going to uh, save my drum roll until next Thursday night. And uh, uh, I tell you, I'm going to miss ministering to you tonight. And uh, But I tell you, this woman of God, evangelist Margaret Mose, she's the, she's the district missionary of our district, is going to deliver the word of the Lord tonight. She's a woman of God. I love her so much. We get a chance to honor her tonight and to be a blessing to her life. So I want to invite you to come out tonight. I'm going to be here. My wife will be here. The district is going to be here. And we want you to come and join us tonight for the very first history-making uh, district meeting of the New Horizon District uh, under uh, the chairman of the Board of Elders, the Council of Elders for North Carolina Third. Pastor of Salt of the Earth, Church of God in Christ, Superintendent William H. 
Cooper II. He's the same William Cooper who served for at least 24, 25 years as my first assistant. What a man of God he is. And I tell you this, we're going to come back this Sunday night and he's going to preach and, uh, and uh, we're going to be blessed. And I can hardly wait to share with you this Sunday what God has given to me. Until then, we will see you. God bless.